talk debt across Africa. Back in March, the Nigerian Economic Summit Group and the Open Society Initiative for West Africa launched the Debt Management Roundtable. The purpose was to help Nigeria and other West African countries create a pathway to fiscal sustainability. Uh, speaking at the launch, Laoye Jayola, chief executive of NESG, said the Debt Management Roundtable was established to help provide alternatives and recommendations that the government can apply to ensure that Nigerians' debt is properly managed. So now we're joined by uh, Wilson Erumebo, economist and lead researcher, Debt Management Roundtable, to discuss this. Wilson, thank you so much for joining us. What are the key drivers for what we're seeing as far as debts for African nations? Well, if you look at um, Africa's growth trajectory and also the performance of African countries, you would realize that uh, most of the time, many of these countries rely on, on commodity, um, either for export um, earnings or for government revenue. And of course, um, what happens to the commodity prices is a very big um, factor that influences how much government is able to earn revenue and also spend on its citizens. So um, with COVID, we saw the fact how um, commodity prices were, you know, fell significantly. And of course, um, with that came the need to be able to borrow and you know, to be able to you know, help citizens and help business in the process. Um, there's also the, the habit of always having a fiscal deficit across many African countries because, of course, we have a huge infrastructural um, gap you know, and the need for them to be able to cover and cover this gap. So we've seen where expenditures across budgets are much larger than um, revenues. And, of course, when that happens, it means most of, most of the gaps you know, are usually co um, covered by borrowing. And, that, and, and also there's a, a habit hypothesis where, you know, you just keep borrowing, even individuals, like there's always the need to borrow. You want to, um, you have revenue somewhere, but you just want to um, be able to cover up, you know, as much uh, as you can. Can we get to the, I guess, the short and long-term objectives of the debt management roundtable? What, 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 what are you trying to do? Well, one of the things we're looking at is, if you look at the, the history of, of debt profile in, in Africa, and particularly in ECOWAS region, you'd realize how fast um, debt accumulation is. I mean, we're accumulating so much debt across the countries. I mean, if you look at debt to GDP ratio of some uh, some of these countries, Ghana, for instance, have exceeded the 70% um, threshold. Yes, for Nigeria, it's still quite low, but um, debt service to revenue is a significant problem. So um, we are looking at a situation where we, there could possibly um, we could be heading towards a debt crisis situation. I mean, with the COVID um, impact and all that. So. Um, Part of what we're doing is to be able to forestall that and see what measures can we take across um, all the countries to be able to curtail some of these challenges. And because, of course, um, debt might be good for growth, but too much debt, of course, is not good for growth. And we're trying to see how we can avoid a debt crisis in the region. And oh, what's the impact of that? The obvious question, though, of a, the impact of a debt crisis. And is Nigeria lurching, African debt nations lurching close? Yes. Um, so um, there are two things. Um, debt is good when um, you have the resources, when you use the resources you, you, you acquire to be able to, you know, pursue developmental purposes or productive activities. Um, it, it's also good when um, servicing the debt is not putting so much pressure on your um, government asset or your revenue, as it were. Um, for several of the African countries, um, they've exceeded some of the threshold the IMF has set. Um, having severe implications on either foreign exchange or the ability to even meet some of the pressing needs of the citizens as well. You see, COVID was a time when people needed government the most, but right. uh, many governments couldn't step up because of the revenue challenge. So um, having too much debt is not um, good, especially for the region. And when you look at the, the, the trends, of course, it could lead to financial crisis, exchange rate crisis, and particularly if your debt is external, as we've seen in um, so many countries. Um, and of course, that would have significant implications on poverty, unemployment, and the social welfare of, of the people. Quickly, in a minute, you can. Alternatives to debt accumulation. Can you quickly touch on that? Yes, I think um, one key thing is um, being able to tap into the resources that the private sector has. I mean, we have talked about all of the huge infrastructure gap and deficit that we have across uh, within Africa and across um, the countries. And um, there's so much resources sitting in private sector that um, we can begin to explore things like PPPs and concessions and all that and try to transfer some of the burdens, provided um, that we have all of the relevant regulatory and legal frameworks to be able to support um, private investments. Fantastic. And are you optimistic that you have the ear of government and I guess the private sector to sort of work towards getting, well, mostly government, to getting that? Getting yes, that we, are, we are quite optimistic, even though um, sometimes um, it can be challenging. Um, you know, if you look at the debt management, 
um, strategy we have, you know, there's, there are even plans to increase more debt. And when you do that, it means that um, servicing costs will also rise. So um, we're quite optimistic and we will try as much as possible to keep advocating and putting these issues on the front burner so that we don't um, end up, you know, moving or falling into a debt crisis situation. Right now, 98% or so of our, um, of our revenue is being used to service debt in Nigeria. That's something worrying. And um, so we're trying to see how we can help, you know, to, to address that. Fantastic stuff. Wilson Arumevo, Economist, Lead Researcher at the Debt Management Roundtable. Well, look, it's a big, big topic, and uh, wish you the best of luck in trying to get that, those debt levels down. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you.